point for FC Telford United this afternoon. They've drawn 1-1 with Southport in Vanarama National League North and I have manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, I imagine the discussion about that game is largely speaking going to centre around the, the dismissal of Jack Byrne and then the way the team responded to it. Yeah, I thought it was, you know, considering we were uh, <clears throat> where it was at in the game at the time, you know, it was, it was great to come out of it with a point. Obviously, being a goal down and a man down is... Uh, quite distressing at the time so yeah to come out of it uh, with a point is uh, something you know we didn't want to take before the game but you know in the circumstances it was uh, yeah it was, it was welcomed sure I mean did you have any particular view on on the sending in off itself it's two yellow cards yeah, isn't it yeah it's what we have with this referee every time you know it seems to be all about him um, I thought he was poor I thought, the, I thought his initial booking was pretty poor and then again you know I don't think uh, Jack's made more than three tackles in the whole game so yeah, it's, it's what we've had with this referee previously. You know, it wasn't a surprise to me. I thought it was a poor decision, um, but you know, I'm going to say that I'm the manager. I'm the manager, but yeah, if I try and uh, take a neutral stance, I, you know, I think uh, Liam on the opposite would, would would say the same. Now the game's gone. Yeah, it was a, it was a poor decision. But ironically, it sort of sparked us into life a little bit more. So um, yeah, went 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 well for us in, in the end. But yeah, ultimately, uh, yeah, strange decision. Sure. I mean, in the, the the first half, I mean, Southport's got off to a faster start. I would say. I mean, that wasn't sort of, you know, you'd be aiming to combat that, I guess, wouldn't you? But you know, they just seemed to to, to get out the blocks quicker. Yeah, they were on the front foot and, and and they pushed us back and they had a lot of crosses and a lot of long throw-ins and and we dealt with it admirably. And then, arguably, you know, in in that moment, we um we should have we, we broke away and actually should have scored. We had the best chance of of the game other than the goal. So. Uh, yeah, we had we had a few chances, and yeah, we were certainly pegged back somewhat. But it's credit to the lads that they defended it resolutely. And um, you know, I've I've been very positive about the performances, and not so much you know the finish it, finishing the chances and results in in recent weeks. But ultimately, I suppose it's flipped on its head. You know, we, I don't think we were at our best today, but ultimately, it's great to uh, to come out of a, a point where the lads have shown character and, and and done the dirty work. Sure, and you, you've spoken about character in this group before, and and. Probably a demonstration of that there, like you say, that a goal down um, after just having Jack sent off, and then you know, with the one from Brendan that comes off the post a few minutes later, I mean, you could have turned that round into a two-one lead. Yeah, we, we nearly nicked it at the end there. Yeah, I thought we, I thought actually in the game we had the better chances. I thought uh, you know Southport huffed and puffed, um, and we allowed them to have that possession. And certainly, you know, the, the strategy was to try and let them have it through their back line once the, our man had been sent off. So we were just looking to try and nick something on the counter, which we. We, we very nearly did, so yeah, it's, like I say, um, you know, I'm not overly chuffed with the, with the performance as a whole, um, but in the circumstance of having a man sent off, just as we were coming into the game as well, I felt as though we were starting to take charge, um, man gets sent off, goal down, um, it's good to come out of it, and that's credit to the lads, no bigger compliment for me, you know, you can be the best player in the world, but unless you show that hard work, some desire and, you know, do a job and a half all over the pitch, then, you know, ultimately the quality's um, stands for nothing. So no, it was, it was credit to the players. I thought that they were they were absolutely superb in their mentality and and defence, just defensive and being resolute. So credit to them. And you know, an opportunity, a free kick, the equaliser come from Brendan Daniels. Yeah. Back into the side today, and um, I gather Henry Cairns has got an injury at the moment. So yeah, so, yeah, spared, Henry... spared a difficult decision there, maybe. Uh, yeah, potentially. I, I didn't even have time to think about it in the end. I think uh, yeah, he, um, Henry pulled his quad. On Thursday in training, so you know we're not expecting to see him now for another sort of three to six weeks. So we'll wait and see how, how sort of bad that's going to be. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, Brendan gets his opportunity to come in, and Vaughan flips back over onto the right, and that just gives us a chance to then go out and uh, play with a bit of freedom. But we didn't really get going, is the truth, for a long period of time. And um, although we had the better chances, you know, I just I would have been, you know, happier with us getting on the ball a little bit more and trying to dictate play, but. It wasn't to be. We ended up defending really resolutely, having having some good chances. But you know, half time we knew it needed to be better. So made a change in Jordan, who came on, who I thought was excellent when he came on. Um, he's been waiting for his chance, and he deserves it. So he did great when he came on. And it's uh, you know, like I say, I just felt as though we were starting to get going um, when Jack got sent off. So uh, it's, it's it's a hard one to try and articulate. But ultimately, not something I'd have taken before the game, but. In the circumstances, you know, you, you have to you have to be happy with a point. Sure, and presumably with Henry absent and Jack going to serve a suspension as well, that's going to open up an opportunity for somebody else. Maybe Don McHale off the bench. Yeah, or... well, there's 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 plenty of options. I say plenty of options. There's numerous options in terms of lads chomping at the bit. So it opens itself up now. You know, we're um, we expected to have a slightly better return than what we've had, and I think performances 
would have would suggest that we would have done, but it's not to be the case. So you know, ultimately we have to look at it and 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 look at how we're going to move forward go, going into Tuesday. It's going to be a difficult game away at Gloucester. So um, yeah, we have to look at it now and, uh, and and look at maybe giving people an opportunity. Okay, that's great. Thanks for your time, Cheers, Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.